and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to scrape Airbnb data into Airtable with Appify. So Appify is a web scraping and automation platform that allows you to collect data from any website. And it can really easily collect data such as Amazon product information. You can also collect Instagram profile info or extract data from TikTok videos such as hashtags and users. So today we will be using Appify to scrape accommodation listing data from Airbnb and we're going to be importing this into our Airtable. So when you begin, you do want to go to the Appify website and create a free account. Once you've created your account, which is really easy to do, then you can go ahead to your dashboard and use the store, as you can see here in the left-hand menu, to search for the Airbnb scraper. So if you simply search in the search bar, Airbnb scraper, that appears, we can select that. And then down at the bottom, you'll see this save as new task button. If you select this, it saves what Appify refers to as an actor task. So now you're able to input your settings. So you can set your destination. I'm gonna go ahead and input London here and then you can set the maximum number of search results to return. So for an example here, we're going to leave this as 10. Then we'll select save and start at the bottom in that bar. And as you can see, this request is now running and we'll have those Airbnb results. Fantastic, as you can see, those results now appear. So we're going to go back to our Airtable base to install Data Fetcher. So when you arrive here, you'll see a bar in the top right hand corner that says extensions. This is where we will find Data Fetcher. Once this loads, we can select add an extension and then you can search for Data Fetcher in the top right hand corner of the search bar, select add and then select add extension. Really nice and simple. Now you'll be prompted to create a free Data Fetcher account simply by filling in this information or you can simply continue with Google. Now we arrive to the following screen where we can import our data. Select the button that says create your first request and this will bring us to the following page. Here we're going to retitle this request as fetch Airbnb listing data, like so. Then for the application, we're going to search for Appify. Now we're going to need to find our API key. You will be prompted to click here, which brings us to our Appify console and it takes us straight to the account page. Here you can copy your personal API token, nice and easy, and paste it back into your Airtable base. Once you've done that, we're going to select the endpoint as import data from an actor tasks latest run. Then we'll select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll arrive to the following page where we can set the actor task as Airbnb scraper task. Leave the output table and view as so, and then we'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. Select continue. And as you can see, your fields are now being created into the response field mapping, which is where you can choose which fields you bring into your Airtable base. So you can see these toggles that are green. You can switch off the fields to not import them into your Airtable simply by clicking the toggle from green to gray. We can also select the filter all button in the top right hand corner here to turn all of them off and then you can select the fields that you would like to import. So for this example, we're going to import the following fields, the URL, the name, the number of guests, the address, and the room type, as well as the location latitude. And you can also search, which we're going to search up in this top bar for the location Langitude, LNG. So here we are, fantastic. So if you just close that over, you can see the fields again that you have selected. You can scroll to see more of the fields as well, or just use that search bar like we did. And now you can see all of these are being imported to new fields here but you can also choose for some to go to existing fields. And this has actually happened automatically for the name to go to the existing field name because it synced those up. Then we'll select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And this is now creating our fields. 
select show output table. You can close over that extension so that you can see this has brought in that data from Airbnb, really nice. You can open this up so you can see it a little bit wider. Fantastic, so we've scraped that Airbnb data and brought it into Airtable now. But if you wanted to take this one step further and have this information updating in your Airtable automatically, so currently you would need to manually click run in Data Fetcher to import any updates to the Airbnb listing data, but there are two options to automate this process with either the Appify scheduling feature or with Data Fetcher's scheduling feature. So I'm going to show both of those options for you. As you can see, when you come back to your Appify page with your account and your settings, which should still be open, so in the left-hand corner, you will see this menu. You'll notice this Actors button, which you can select to open into a bigger view, and you'll see the option Tasks here. That will bring up that task that you saved earlier for the Airbnb scraper. Once you select this, the following page will load. Now, if you go up to the top right hand corner, you'll see a drop down menu for actions. This is where you can select Schedule Actor. Now, you can enter a new name here or you can simply select Schedule. So, by default, the schedule is set to every day, but you can change this and choose what you would like for the occurrence. As you can see, See, you've got loads of options here and then simply select save once you've done that. So once you've scheduled the task in Appify, you'll also need to schedule data fetcher to pull those latest runs into Airtable. So if we head back to our Airtable base, as you can see, we're going to open up our extensions button again here so that we can get back to those settings that we've created for data fetcher. That will open up immediately, as you can see. Now you have your requests and we're going to open up the fetch Airtable listing data. Here we open up all of those settings that we've already inputted and you'll notice if you scroll down the schedule option. Now if you haven't yet upgraded to a paid data fetcher account, you will need to do that before you see this option, but I really recommend that you do because then it'll allow you to have all of this data synchronizing without you having to do a thing. So once you've done that, you can come back and select add API key under your schedule. And here you'll be prompted to open up your Airtable account. Here you can generate API key and copy that information over. Once you have it copied, come back to your Airtable base and paste it into this input box. Then select save. Nice and simple. As you can see, that automatically schedules the request and you can again choose how often you would like for this request to automatically update. And then we're going to go ahead and select save in the bottom right hand corner and you can close over that window. And now hopefully you have learned how to scrape Airbnb data into Airtable with Appify and have those records synchronized automatically without you having to do a thing. But if you do have any questions, you can reach out to us here at Data Fetcher, where we do also have a full length blog on this exact topic. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.